I've had my fair share of disappointing rides on the Gadget Show, but today I'm a little bit more hopeful. I'm back in the saddle because I'm testing this, the R8. <laughs> This three-wheeler has been 20 years in the thinking and two years in the making. The inventor believes it could be the solution to our congested roads because it's narrow, easy to park, and unlike most small vehicles, it's stable. This is because the back wheels tilt, not just a little, but a long way. They can go as far over as 45 degrees without the R8 tipping. This tilting party trick comes from the clever technology which allows the mechanical bits of the bike to stay in position whilst the wheels lean towards the ground. To show how it works, we've set up a little test between the R8 and a monkey bike. The R8 turns even tighter than a London taxi, whilst even a small bike has to veer out to the side. The R8 is through the cones without a hitch, but our biker has to put his foot down to avoid falling over. Time for me to try it out in the freezing cold on a private country road. Into gear. OK. And away you go. Oh, that is very strange. If you're used to riding a motorbike, you have to make it lean. So on this, it automatically leans. It's actually not as noisy as I thought either. Very smooth. The trike is road legal, and because it's a three-wheeler, you don't have to wear a helmet or harness. But if you were on the public highway, you'd be wise to wear protective gear. Already, I've only been riding it for a couple of minutes, and I really feel as though I'm getting the hang of it. Let's change down. Around the corner. Yee! Obviously, it's a prototype, and there's no suspension at the front, so it's, it's quite hard, but it went into production and it was slightly smaller and slimmer. Some good suspension. I could really see this catching on. On the show this week, what sounds better, vinyl, CD or MP3? John takes a long... The awesome power of the Xbox 360 has rewritten the book on computer games design. 